in a world covered by endless water. People are forced to eke out a living on the small patches of land that remain above the sea. The people of this world rely on ancient technology driven by quantum refractors, a powerful energy source. These refractors lie in ancient ruins underground and in the sea and are sought out by explorers called diggers. These brave explorers are the sole source of refractor energy which has become a cornerstone of the emerging civilization. Originally, this was the diggers' only purpose, to find refractors so that civilization might endure. However, over the years, the story of a fabulous treasure, the legendary Mother Lode, began to be whispered among the diggers. The Mother Lode, a treasure so great that if it were discovered, it would provide so much power that the world never need fear running out of energy. Seeking this mother load, diggers travel from one island to another in their flying machines, ever hoping that they'll find what they seek just over the horizon. Hope. Despair. Charity. Greed. Duty. Power. Who can say what truly motivates the diggers? Hey everybody, I am Meds98194, and you, yourself, right now, are watching my very first solo Let's Play, Mega Man 64. Now, some of you, and by that I mean like five of you maybe, know me from my collaboration channel, Buddha Meds, which, or I guess, yeah, stuff like that. Well, which you can see here. And with that, I guess, let's get started. Here we go. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better myself. Mega now, a lot of this game, because this is Mega Man 64, Mega the audio was me? dumbed down a lot. So, it's kind of hard to understand what they're saying a lot of the time. And as you've probably already seen, I'm going to go ahead and put up subtitles because, one, it's hard to understand them at certain points, especially at the end of the game. And two, I'm probably going to be talking over them a lot. I'm going to try not to do that too much, but, you know, stuff. And there's our hero himself, Mega Man. The reactor's still running. Yay! What about the refractor? Alright, now maybe we can finally get some money. Yes! I love money! Let's just go ahead and grab this here and move on. Good. Oh, oh no. That that does not look good at all. In fact. That almost looks copyrighted. Oh god. What was that? Run! Mega Man, run! Awesome. We're good. Everything's all right here. Don't count your chickens yet. I'm picking something up on my screen. Count your chickens. Looks like a reaver bot. You better get out of there. Come on. What the heck is a reaver bot? Let me know. That that just sounds weird. All right, let's get started. Actual gameplay. Woohoo! There should be a reaver bot around there somewhere. Um. Can you see it? Maybe. It looks like a small one. Okay, good. Small be one. Beginning the game. Buster gun. Yes, my mega buster. Use the B button to fire. Yay! Press Z plus R button to automatically lock on to the nearest target. Exclamation point. Read instructions again. Why would you want to read that again? No. And oh my god, it's a reaver bot, so I'm just gonna shoot it. Alright, these are refractors. Actually, I'll hold off on that explanation, because the... or refractor shards, I should say. But the game actually explains that later on that I forgot. Uh, let's go this way and kill more reaver bots. There's absolutely nothing this way, but little bits of refractors. And those little... 
cube things. I almost want to call them cheese, but they're definitely Can not cheese. Nope, because I turned the wrong way. Yeah, those are health. Depending on how big it is, that tells you how much health it'll restore. And there's the door, but we're going to completely ignore roll and go this way. Where are you going, Mega Man? That's not the right way. You don't tell me where to go. I don't like the way that looks. Maybe you'd better head back. No. I'm going a forward. Oh, hey, cool. But let's step on. Oh my gosh! Worms. There are worms here. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I could have made it out of there without. You know, well, I'll, I guess that was actually pretty easy. All right, well, whatever. There's nothing else for us here, so let's go through this door. Yes, I do. It's directly in front of my face. No kidding. It's not far from your current position. Really? Would have never guessed. Use the down C button to investigate items and open doors. No. Watch out, there's something right in front of you. Oh my gosh, it's a pillar! No, it's a reaper bot. And they actually attacked me for once. Although I blew the bomb up in midair, but it's I guess it's still an attack. Ah! Well, that was dumb. I really like the way your armor system works in this game. Like, what has to happen is you have to get hit once and that knocks down your shield. And then while your shield is down, then you can get damaged. You can tell your shield is down by the little thing at the left hand screen right there. If it's red, that means your shield's down. If you get hit hard enough, it can be down permanently, oh, but normally it just repairs itself. Looks like it didn't see you. It looked like a reaver bot. We were lucky. That was like three reaver bots, and I'm pretty sure I've taken out like 35 of them at this point. Actually, more like 10, but you know, 35, 10, what's the difference? All right. Here is a box that we explode and get zenny! Quantum refractors are large crystals that provide energy for machines. They can also be used as currency. Wow, why can't our money do that? This world is way cooler. If you're really lucky, you might be able to find an orange energy cube. Grab it to recharge your life gauge. No! Alright, so basically these things give us money, and those things give us health. And I like money and health. They are my friend. There's more than one. And... What is it, Mega Man? I don't I'm know. I'm picking up strong energy reading. Is it some kind of barrier? Yes. Is there a switch for the barrier anywhere close by? I don't Once see up, one. It's gotta be around somewhere. Okay. Thanks for your encouragement. Mega Man, oh my gosh, what is that? Up. He's above you, watch out! That's not exactly above me. If you use the auto, or not auto lock, if you use the lock on it told us about earlier, you can lock on enemies up there. So also you can just like freely move around your camera. So it's kind of a second person view, or yeah, second person view, I guess you would call that. Over the shoulder type. I think that's second person, I don't know. That might just be a weird third person. But that's not important. What's important is that. Oh my gosh! I'm going to destroy these. And hope it does something. Oh my gosh! It's gone! And treasure chest! Oh, uh, <laughs> I completely missed the treasure chest. Wow, that's a very good omen for things to come. Power Razor! The Power Razor is a Mega Man Buster part. Attaching buster parts allows you to power up your buster gun. You can use attach you can attach buster parts by going to the menu like I'm about to do. All right, so you just want to pause, go down here, equip, click this slot, and boom, you got attack raised. I'll go into that a little more elaborately later on because that's not too important right now. All you need to know is that we've got more attack power, and that's always more Mega fun. Man, I'm showing a large blip in front of you. It's Blips are not fun. Be hey, huh? speak can up. You can you hear me? I'm losing you. Well, stop it. Breaking. Well, that's what? not good. Are you all right? Can you hear me? Well, 
One way to go. Oh my gosh, different music. And now, ah! Our very first boss fight against this weird thing with one arm. It looks really old and crappy. And oh my gosh, this is difficult. Ah! You know what? I'm gonna kick it. I'm gonna kick it to death. That's what I'm gonna do. Ah! Ow, that actually hurt. Ah, computer, don't go into screensaver. That is a bad thing. I'm actually playing off of my computer right now. Because I don't have a TV within reach. I'll elaborate more on that because we are nearing the end of the dungeon, I guess you would call it right now. And that's pretty freaking awesome pose right there. And yay! Finished. Wait, what? No! No! Die! That's cheating! You were dead! I ran away! You're not supposed to come back to life! Yeah. I swear, enemies back then had no idea what they were doing. They don't do it right. When I kill you, you die! That's the way it happens. It, I thought that's how the game scripted it, but I guess not. And we were in a gigantic underwater tunnel thing the entire time. Wait, how did that thing fit through the doorway? How did that thing fit through the doorway? The, no! Oh crap, now it just looks really pissed off. And for some reason Mega Man's afraid even though I took him down like... I wouldn't even call that easy. That's like easier than easy. That's like beginner on Guitar Hero. Like where you just strum it. No buttons or anything. Well, this is a pretty bad situation. What was... That was weird. Mega Man, you didn't have to do that! Uh, oh. Well. I guess he's safe. On a giant fish-looking ship thing. Well, anyway, because I'm not too terribly confident in my abilities to get this cutscene done in the next, like, three minutes, I guess I'm going to end it off here. So, until next time, I am Meds98194. Thank you for watching.